Do you believe the administration on fusion, uh, something I'm also very excited about, do you believe the administration's proposed budget of 3 million is sufficient to support the development of inertial fusion for energy applications, even though this is called out uh, in, in the, in, in the uh, language, in the lit language? Yes, well, uh, I just actually got back late last night from an ARPA-E fusion uh, event in San Francisco. And the excitement around fusion is just incredible. And the amount of money now, private money, that's being pumped into uh, new ideas of fusion is very uh, exciting. So what we're doing uh, is following the White House uh, Fusion Summit held on March 13, 17th. I've set up a fusion cross-cutting team and a leader in my office to coordinate the efforts across the department fusion, um, in, with regard to fusion. And future budgeting requests will be coordinated across the whole department to support the decadal uh, vision. So we are heavily com uh, committed to fusion, and we are following the advice of the, uh, the fusion advice, the FES, uh, Fusion and Energy uh, so I shouldn't say Society section. Anyway, FES, their advisory committee for the fusion energy, uh, their workshop in uh, 2022 that will be held to define the science and technology thrusts for the IFE program with the Office of Science. So fusion energy science is healthy. Uh, uh, and, but we need to be able to see how we can go further in fusion energy given the big changes that we've had uh, in even recent months with regards to accelerating the need for clean energy in areas like nuclear and also in fusion. Well, so thank I, you, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, for your indulgence.